Terry Bowden, get ready to start spring football practice. And when you look at storylines for the spring, number one's got to be evaluating the personnel you have. No question. We've got to find out what kind of talent we're playing with right here. There are probably guys that maybe they didn't shine last year. Maybe the, the, the season went bad. So everybody's got a clean slate. We've got to look at our talent because, again, we've held back some scholarships. We think if we find ourselves uh, not fully loaded at every position, we could still come out in the summer and pick up a player or two uh, in the portal draft. But the main thing is give these guys guys a chance to go out there and prove to us, have an addition every day to show us what they can do to help us win next year. A key part of that evaluation process, Coach, is go changing up the routine a little bit. You're going to go ones against ones and twos against two to afford the best looks that you can get. Yeah, I mean, obviously the best thing you can do in spring ball is to go ones against ones, the very best on offense against the very best on defense. Uh, we, we control the tempo of the practice, so if we have a non-contact or a touch-off or a thud or a full tackle, they're all different because we can't just go ones against ones and twos against twos all day long. So we control the tempo of each drill, but you can't tell how good we are until we see how good we are against our other best people. You mentioned briefly the clean slate for the players, yeah. Coach. Really, these practices, they have 15 chances to take an impression to you, so they really have to have a sense of urgency about them, don't they? Yeah, and that's already started. We've been meeting with them almost every day, going over our our offense and our defensive schemes. Uh, they're showing us which ones are coachable, which ones learn quickly, which ones pay attention. When we get to the football field, though, that's the final final exam. How do you like to hit somebody, or what do you feel like when you get hit? That's what makes football a little bit different uh, than other sports because contact becomes very important. And I've always said when it comes to actually playing football, if a duck can pull a truck, hit him up. You know, I don't care what they look like, uh, what their stats are. If they can play football, they'll be on the field come Saturdays in the fall. Coach, you're about ready to begin year number 26. There's nothing routine or old hat about it. I can tell you're excited about getting out on the field for the first time with this new team. I, I really am. Again, 26 years as a head coach, but it's my first year here. And this is such a wonderful place to, to build a football program. We were down last year. We had adversity last year. We didn't win last year. But that only leaves so many so many goals for us this year, so many objectives that we can have. I think so much excitement. I can feel the excitement on campus. I can feel it with the student body. I see it around town, people that I meet down in the grocery stores. There's an excitement right now in Monroe at ULM about football this fall. And I'm just hoping we can come together, uh, put all of our efforts together, uh, and put together an out outstanding football season.